tonight. You're watching the High Country News Channel. The local news at 7. Good evening and thanks for tuning in to the High Country News at 7. I'm Zach Burnham. The High Country News recently put out a poll asking our viewers what they prefer as far as a weekly news segment compared to news as it happens. The results of the poll show that viewers are more interested in news as it happens, which could mean multiple news stories throughout the week. With that being said, starting tomorrow, we will be bringing breaking news and stories as they happen. We may also include a local history segment each week. We still plan to air a Tuesday night broadcast to include arrest reports, weather, and upcoming community events, and the encouraging word. Our goal is to always bring the latest and most relevant news to you quickly and precisely. As always, the High Country News is eager to welcome new sponsors and advertisers to our broadcast. We strongly believe that implementing this strategy will only better our sponsors because views are extremely high during the breaking news segments. If you'd like to become a sponsor or advertise with the High Country News, please email us at thehighcountrynews1 at gmail.com. This evening we will start off the broadcast with President Trump's arrival to Johnson City, Tennessee. Mr. Trump arrived yesterday for a rally supporting Tennessee Republican candidate Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. The rally comes on the evening of the first day of an FBI probe into sexual assault allegations against the nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Let's take a closer look at some points that Mr. Trump made sure to present to the people. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. We are no longer apologizing for America. We are standing up for America. Standing up. And we're standing up for your values. We're standing up for Tennessee. And we are standing up very proudly for our flag and our national anthem. So we're fighting for the right of all children to have a safe home, a great school, a loving family, and a ladder that raises them up to reach their highest dreams. Wouldn't that be nice? We're unleashing the power of faith. We need more faith in this country. So you have to get your friends, get your family, get your neighbors, get your co-workers, and get out and vote Republican and vote for Marsha Blackburn and Bill Lee and all of the great Republicans that are running. Because, as you know, we are American and our hearts bleed red, white, and blue. We are one people, one family, and one glorious nation under God. And together, we will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you, Tennessee. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Contact Zach Johnson, store manager of the High Country Dealerships Incorporated, located in Newland, North Carolina, and Elizabethan, Tennessee, for all your custom UTV and ATV needs. Absolute comfort, hot tub, and pool repair. 
We are dedicated to providing quality products and services for all of our customers. We proudly service all brands of hot tubs and pools, and our qualified technicians are here for all of your pool and hot tub needs, from repair and maintenance to delivery and installation. May Coalition. Our mission is to help create high quality employment opportunities for unemployed and underemployed residents of Mitchell, Avery, and Yancey counties in North Carolina. Please contact us today at 828-765-8880. This past weekend, we were on scene where an accident took place on Highway 105 near Grandfather Golf and Country Club. Here's a quick recap on that story. The High Country News was on scene where an accident took place on Highway 105 located right near the Grandfather Mountain and Linville Ridge entrance. As of now, we know that there was only one vehicle in this accident, and the driver's name was Casey Ross from Henderson. As of now, we do not have a definite time on when the road will be open or the power will be on. We was told by a couple of Mountain Electric employees that it could possibly be around 3 p.m. this evening. This is Zach reporting for the High Country News. We were fortunate enough to be invited to the Daniel Boone Bear Club fundraiser on Saturday. The club held a fundraiser to help some local families in need. These included Stan Daniels, Amanda Hicks, Steve Earwood, and Ted Buchanan. We also spoke with President Benny Vance about what this fundraiser, fundraiser means to the community. Here's Benny Vance. My name is Benny Vance. I'm president of the Daniel Boone Bear Club. Uh, we're raising money today for uh, benefit about four different people. And we was raising money for all of these people, try to help them out on their medical expenses and just expenses that they incurred during their sickness. Every bit of money that's off of the benefit tables that, that goes directly to the people and it'll be presented to them today. Uh, that's the way the, the bar club works. And uh, our bar club, the part of the bar club table, we always have a table for the club to raise money throughout the year. The Daniel Boone Bar Club, as of last meeting, I think had raised since 19 or since 2005, we reestablished, and I think we have raised about $88,000 into the community. We meet the last Tuesday night and every month from uh, January through September. We take hunting season off as a club, but we raise money throughout to try to help people that may have hardships during that period of time. We try to keep uh, our allotments are $150. When we get a name of somebody that may be in need, uh, the club votes on it, and uh, and and that that is not a limited thing. We we can go further than that. That's just uh, we know it's not a lot of money, but it may can help people out in a period of time that they may have needs. This organization is probably is structured out of about 10 different bar hunting groups. Uh, it was established in the 1960s, and it sort of fell through uh, late 60s, early 70s, and then we picked it back up in 2005, restructured it, and uh, and here today, uh, the Lord's blessed us. I'd like to say that uh, it's been a wonderful thing, been a wonderful club, We've done a lot of good. We hope it's united a lot of hunters. Uh, we have a great time. It's uh, it's wonderful to have an organization like this. All of the food that's here today, the only thing that Daniel Boone Bar Club spends any money is we buy the pork and the chicken and the paper goods to have this uh, put on these dinners and it pays us back tenfold. We would welcome anybody who want to come join up with our club. Uh, it's $20 membership a year and you get a free hat. And uh, like I said, we meet uh, last Tuesday night and every month from uh, January through September here at the Newland Fire Department. This event raised $8,497 this evening. Simply amazing for our small community. This High Country News was at the Appalachian State's homecoming gang this past Saturday, where we covered a tailgate campaign for candidate Tommy Sofield. Mr. Sofield hosted this event with other candidates to encourage individuals to register to vote. Mr. Sofield and others gave away free food for all. David Searcy, candidate for Watauga County Sheriff, was also there. This will be right back after these messages. Contact Zach Johnson, store manager of the High Country Dealerships Incorporated, located in Newland, North Carolina, and Elizabethan, Tennessee, for all your custom UTV and ATV needs. Absolute comfort, hot tub and pool repair. 
We are dedicated to providing quality products and services for all of our customers. We proudly service all brands of hot tubs and pools, and our qualified technicians are here for all of your pool and hot tub needs, from repair and maintenance to delivery and installation. May Coalition. Our mission is to help create high quality employment opportunities for unemployed and underemployed residents of Mitchell, Avery, and Yancey counties in North Carolina. Please contact us today at 828-765-8880. This now, your local arrest report. Now for your local sports, the Avery Vikings will be hosting Madison this Friday night at 7.30. The Mitchell Varsity football team has a home conference game versus rival school Mountain Heritage on Friday, October 5th at 7.30. The Cougars have a record of 4-1, while the Mountaineers stand at 5-1. I believe this is to be the game of the year in Western North Carolina. The Watauga Varsity football team has an away conference game at Hickory on Friday, October 5th at 7.30. The Pioneers still remain undefeated while the Red Tornadoes are 3-3. Three three. This Avery County High School hosted the Viking Classic Tournament of Bands this past Saturday, where schools such as Watauga, Surrey Central, West Wilkes, West Iredale, South Caldwell, and Ashe County attended. Since the Avery County Vikings hosted this event, they were not able to compete in the event. Here is the footage from the tournament champion, South Caldwell, showing off their drum line. This, and now a look at your local five-day forecast.
So at the end of our segment, we'd like to bring you an encouraging word from 2 John chapter 1, verse 6. This is love that we walk according to His commandments. This is the commandment that as you have heard from the beginning. You should walk in it. Please be sure and watch the end credits for a special video of the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers talking about kid sex trafficking. We would like to thank you for tuning in tonight's segment. This is Zach reporting for the High Country News. He's the NFL's youngest head coach to win a Super Bowl. I'm Mike Tomlin, I'm head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. A field general on an off-field mission that recently stole his heart. And I'm a slave stealer. The man without a losing season during his 11 years in Pittsburgh wants to help rescue children from enslavement. Leave it to a head coach to call an audible at a press conference to announce that the Steelers are supporting an agency that rescues kids from sex trafficking. Uh, we're a group made up of former uh, law enforcement, former Navy SEALs. I've got several of my operators here today. Uh, we work with law enforcement. We go undercover in this dark, dark world. You initiated that. What was the turning point, Mike, to be involved? It, it didn't take long to, to, to get there. Um, all you have to do is be exposed to what Tim and company are doing at OUR. Um, I spent some time praying about it and thinking about it, uh, as did my wife, and bring OUR out here and spend a couple days with us as a football team. You know, God would take a hold of that and provide direction for all of us, and the relationship has grown. What is it about Operation Underground Railroad that you admire? They're a nonprofit organization that provides latitude to have partnerships with other governments and really eliminate a lot of red tape. And that's what you got to do, man. We're trying to rescue kids in the sex slave industry. These are guys that are kind of cut like I'm cut. They see a problem, and then they go about solving it. Action takers, well, those are the type of guys you want to come alongside and, and pray for and help. How have the players responded, and how have you seen their lives impacted by it? From a professional football standpoint, there's so many things, initiatives, and, and causes going on that in some way potentially divide someone in some corner of the room, and the minute we presented them and the work that they're doing to the team, it was something that unified the group. Every man was moved, and it's been 100% participation, different from man to man, obviously, and uh, that's a beautiful thing. Describe that Steeler football brand and reputation, no nonsense and tough, that doubles up as a requirement for what it would take for any of us to rescue the enslaved and the trafficked. The same principles that, that we live by as an organization, as a football team, you know, our brother can depend on us. We don't make excuses. We believe in taking action as opposed to making statements. Those things embody OUR and what they're doing. And, and this is God's work. This is not the work of men. The pieces fit too perfectly together. They're black and gold, determined years ago before they met us. They're slave stealers. That's their motto. And, um, you know, we've adopted that motto. What was the one thing that swiveled your heart? That it may happen in other countries, but we as Americans, sadly, are the number one consumers worldwide. We drive the market, American citizens. That struck me uh, like a lightning bolt, and, and that probably uh, was as impactful in terms of me um, having a strong desire to take action as anything. Um, Tragic, heavy, heartbreaking. It's too tough for some to look at, but for you, why is an apathetic response unacceptable? It is tough for me to look at, but I also know that's one of the reasons why you gotta look at it. And that's one of the reasons why it pushes you to action. As difficult as it is to fathom, it's probably just as tough not to take action once you've crossed that bridge. Speak to me as a father of three that includes one daughter. Yeah. How and where does that hit you the most deeply as a dad? You know, there was a specific story about a young Haitian kid. His dad's been searching for him for a long time. It connected to me. In this job, I work late hours from time to time. And if I get home late at night, I might poke my head in every bedroom. It's just what you do as a parent. I couldn't imagine a child not being in one of those bedrooms. It's unimaginable. And yet, and still, there are thousands and thousands of parents that deal with that reality on a day-to-day -day basis. No child, Mike, should lose their childhood. Yeah. No question. No question. Sex trafficking industry profits 32 billion a year. The rescue then to get it at its core 
seems twofold. Go find and rescue those children. And then face another thing that's almost as difficult, the willingness to pray for a change of heart in the culprits. Can you do that? I didn't think that I could. It's interesting that you ask that because the more I educate myself to this issue, I can answer yes to that now because you realize that prayer is what's needed. The problem is so large, so widespread. It's much bigger than we all would like to realize. The chief component has to be prayer. Prayer reaches to the heart, and Mike, it seems to me, children and women are held hostage because of the enslavement of others. From your experience, what and who frees you from your own personal imprisonment? <laughs> you know, that's an interesting question. I get challenged in ways that keeps my confidence properly placed. <laughs> you know, there's so much in our business that, that fosters real humility. It has fostered my personal relationship with my Lord and Savior. I just think about the grace. It is just an unbelievable thing. And that's one of the reasons why it pushes you to action.